Thank you very much. My, my question is, uh, do you or do you not consider it uh, discrimination on the basis of sex that contraception and family planning is still considered to be the sole responsibility of women? Isn't it a, a, a discrimination? Because you were talking about discrimination in this context uh, in another way, but uh, I think it should be approached this way as well, that uh, especially natural family planning or other ways of uh, contraception which can be used by men should be more sort of advertised and marketed and that's, in my view, an equality issue. Do you agree with me or not? Mrs. Morvai, I fully agree with you that it is a shared responsibility, which is unfortunately not always the case in practice, as we know. But my point was that when um, uh, sexual and reproductive health services are provided, sometimes there are restrictions which disproportionately or very one-sidedly affect women. Uh, and, and that's what, what, what I was arguing for, to make sure that women have access to the full range of services so that they have a choice. Uh, and they should have a choice themselves, apart from the fact that, of course, men too are responsible for family planning.